something new in the science of aviation. Everything looks back to front in this new American fighter pictured here at its tests. The wings go away back. The propeller is on the tail and can be dropped off in case a pilot has to bail out. Other planes have the rudders on the tail. This one has them on the wings. The elevators are on the nose, not in the tail. It's called the XP-55 Ascender. Back to front, and not to be confused with the silly story of the oozle bird reputed to fly backwards and disappear. But though it looks odd, it's fast and exceptionally manoeuvrable. The first newsreel pictures of the prototype British Gloucester jet-propelled aircraft made to the design of Air Commodore Frank Whittle. The RAF flew the first squirt planes ever to go into action against the enemy. There's a pilot who flew in the first jet squadron. The squirts have plenty of power, and if you open up the throttle suddenly, you get a kick in the back from your seat. They go up like a lift, the faster the higher. They're sweet to handle, and it's jets for me from now on. American jet planes, like the Bell P-59 pictured here, had full benefit of Air Commodore Whittle's research. These machines suck in hundred weights of air a minute. An ordinary plane compared with a P-59 flying above. This plane has similar qualities to the British jet. It has a tremendous rate of climb, straight up and terrific speed, vulture-like peel-offs and super-swift maneuvers. Jet-propelled aircraft are a certainty for the airlines of tomorrow. 